thing like the building who is composing the man but he is separate from it because he is a for example this our colleague is a company is and mr salim has been built this company and he is very separate from it because company is an artificial the man is a real function so that's why it's called to the separate from the person composing it with the perpetual succession a common seed meaning the as you know the meaning of the perpetual succession mean continuing process for example my granddad made a company and and he passed away that next my dad was took over the charge of the company so is a continuing process when he died then i'll take the charge of the company so it is continuing process it can own property it has its own property right and subject to the liability every company has a right and subject to the liability according to the law it can sue and be sued its in its own name any person can file a suit against the company and the company also can file a suit the person who is mischieving or misdealing or has been terminated by any reason so company can be sued and can be sued as well so the, i'm going to now come on the facts of the case mr solman he was a boot and shoe manufacturer and was trading on its own sole account under the firm solman and company in the high street white chapel london so mr solman the man he was dealing his own company as a sole owner he was a sim- single owner of the company in white chapel a town is a white chapel of london he had been in trade over 30 years and have no much capital to build up in the business and was doubtedly in good credit and repute so he had a very good repute reputation in the public but he wanted to for he was doing this business for the last 30 years in the white chapel town of london so but he had no much money to enhance this business so he planned mr solman has a wife excuse me one minute mr solman has a wife and a family consisting of five sons and a daughter mr solman has a wife and a family consisting of five sons and a daughter four of the sons were working with their father the elder son was around 30 years of age was practically the manager he the elder son he was working as a manager but he was not the partner of the company the sons were not this partner they were working as a servant and they were getting the money as wages so they kept pressing their father to give them a share in this in this concern so they also pressing to their father give us some shares so he decided with his wife and consequently he made a form a limited company name and put the name of the company solman and company limited and sold his business to the limited company the vendor was appointed as a manager and he was appointed as a managing director of the company as well so because he was the he was the person who formed the company and sold this old company to the limited company and become the managing director of the company initially the purchase price was of the company was 38782 pound but it has been decided capital the capital money was 40000 pound in pound one share each so what he done after the com- forming the company seven shares were issued to the subscriber of the memorandum seven share is sold to the first of all his whole family is taken the seven shares on each so his wife he himself his daughter and four son who were supply for one pound shares each so then in the market total 25 20000 pounds share were issued to the company which went to the capital of the company the so all money went to the company the capital of the company it was initially it was 40000 pound and 20000 pound were issued as a shares and those money also goes to the company so this total money is here 
60,000 uh, 40, 60, pounds have in the company now. So Solomon, again, issued a debenture. He took the loan from 10,000 pounds from the bank and issued a debenture. And this all money also goes to the company. So now is the six, 70,000 pounds were have the company. And he also took 5,000 pounds from Mr. Edwin Bredip on security of the debenture. He transferred this business to the Solomon and Solomon company. The company was running, but unfortunately, the company had a very brief career. It fell upon evil days. In the London, the shoes and boot companies become the depressions in the London society. So they were, he, Solomon also goes depression. The workers were also goes depression and they were strikes of the workmen too. There were a strike of the workmen too because they went to the strike because the wages were not given to them for the last, the, in short period. So the worker was also goes in depression. In view of that, in danger of the contract, the public bodies were also main sources of, in view of danger, the person who has given to the money as a lent to the company, they become the danger because the company goes falling down because of the reason the shoes company depriving in the London as well. In the circumstances, Mr. Solomon profit split up and divided between the different funds. The profit was, he split the profit. First of all, he paid the money and canceled the debenture from bank. He's where we have taken the 10,000 pound and 5,000 pound. He again reissued and again reissued from Mr. Brady as a loan. He was taken the, took, taken the loan who advanced him 5,000 pound. He immediately handed over to the company on the loan and reissued the loan of Mr. Brady. So, and Mr. Brody was here, he was very upset because his interest was not been paid when it was due. So what he did, Mr. Brady took a proceeding at once and got the receiver appointed and then came liquidation and it forced the company's assets. Mr. Brody sued. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, 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 sir. sir. Yes, 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 sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, we have already read it, so I think uh, um, it is not very difficult to understand you guys. You are all uh, aware of this case as well, before I have been given this lecture uh, in the classroom. So, up to the point, you have to understand that 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 you have Okay. Clear, sir. Okay. 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 Here it will be okay, next over. We have given the title of the liquidator. Mr. Brodif, he gave 10,000 pounds before. He gave 5,000 pounds before the loan. When the company was bad, he re-reached it. He gave the money he gave. He said, we can't pay you. We can't pay you. We can't pay this Duran, Mr. Brodiff's interest was not been paid when it became due. 
तो वो ही वॉज वेरी एंग्री वो कहता था मुझे पैसे देते नहीं है प्रॉफिट मुझे दे नहीं रहे सो ही he filed a case against mr solman and got the receiver appointed by the court so since he was he was the one who is taking the responsibility over the company who the person mr solman he was thinking that solman was the person who has given him a responsibility and taking the money from him so he is the responsible but here uh, but here it was demand by the unsecured creditor the solman was guaranteed him solman guaranteed to the all person he was taking the money from the persons that he was guaranteed them that i'll pay you back when it was due so the person the who is given to the credit he was thinking the man who is solman he was the res so responsible so but unfortunately the law says now what it says the law law says the company has a separate existence from its member law says as a memorandum says company has a separate existence so he was the no responsibility he has no responsibility to pay all the money to the bank because come he has taken the loan from the on behalf of the company so company will pay to the money back to the creditors so next on winding up the state of affairs were as follows that asset war remain 6000 pounds at the time of winding up com company liability was 10000 pound an unsecured credit was 7000 pound liabilities was debenture was 10000 pounds was pending an unsecured creditor who took the money from the different person it was 7000 pound it was total 17000 pounds was due from him so he have to pay the money to the if uh, as he taken the loan from the person first of all what he paid he paid to the secure creditor hence after paying the venture solmos nothing left for unsecure creditor he paid the 10000 pound to the bank straight away and the balance was nothing so the company mr bradif was filed the case so the trial court give the judgment against solmos the learned judgment learned judge declared that company had a right of indemnity of mr solman against mr solman because mr solman was assured them that i am taking the money on behalf of the company so i will be responsible so i will give you money back but the signator of the memorandum of association were he said mere nominees of mr solman mere dummies the company was mr solman in other form so the judge was thinking that the company was the company was another form of mr solman because he made the company so he, he used the name of the company as alias he used the name of the company as an alias because he used the name same name there was the flaw of mr solman here he used the same name of the company so everyone was thinking he is responsible but according to the memorandum as i said he is separate from the person the he employed the company as his agent so the company is entitled to indemnity against principal so he was hired the person who was working the company as a agent as a managing director so court decided against the solman judgment given by the court of appeal so he mr solman again went to the court of uh, appeal he was dissatisfied of the lower courts he filed an appeal against uh, against this decision in appellate court chief justice lopez appellate court the appellate court also confirmed the decision of the lower court and decided in favor of mr brady because and did nothing sorry and uh, mr solman also did not accept the decision of the court of appeal the chief justice lopez said he was the responsible mr solman was taken the money from the court so he was confirmed the decision of the lower court and decided in favor of the uh, mr bradip and against the uh, solman 
Mr. Solomon again also did not accept the decision of the Court of Appeal and moved to file further appeal in the House of Lords. And again, he went to the appeal in the House of Lords. In the House of Lords, the judgment of given by the trial court and court of appeal was reversed by the House of Lords. Reverse means the, the judgment of the given by the trial court and court of appeal was set aside. Because the company has a separate existence from its member. And it was held, Solomon was under no liability. Sol Solomon has no liability because company was the liability. Debenture, it was further observed that the debenture was validly issued to Solomon. Yes, he was agreed, issued to the Solomon. But on behalf of the company, Solomon was the, he's not taken this money to the in his own pocket. He was invested this money to the company. And security, it was held that security was effectively created against the company. Yes, he was agreed here. The security was against the company, but there was no intention. There was nothing wrong of malafide in the foundation of the company. What was the intention in the, com in the, uh, in the company? There was nothing. And he said, I seems that every learned judge become involved by the argument very unusually ambiguity. They have not been thinking broadly. They were just gone to the Solomon. He has taken the money and he invested the money. He was the managing director. But here, I will again say here that he was the managing director. He was the employee of the company. He was the not, uh, yes, he was the owner on behalf of the company. But every one of the partner, because share was distributed 20,000 pounds in the market. So he was also a partner of the shares because he has taken one pound share, only one share he got. So he was the owner on behalf of shareholder. He was not owner of the sole owner like he was previously doing as a private company. So the question arising here, the company was legally entity, entity or it was not. If it was the business belonged to it and not Mr. Solomon, the company, the, the business for the company was to the company, not the Solomon. Because Solomon has, was not malafide here. Solomon was good hair, good, he has a clean hand to make the company. But there was no person and on the thing to be an agent at all. As I said here, the company and partner is a separate, separate here. Thus, a creditor of the incorporated company has remedy the person who has given to the company, to the loan, the person who has given to the loan to the company, he has remedy only against the company, not from Mr. Solomon. So he should go, he should go to file the case to the company, not to the Solomon. The company conduct its own business as a separate person. That's all. Did you get my point here, my dear friends? Question, Lena? Anyone, you don't call them. Honey, up to the on uh, unmute you again. Yes, sir. Any problem? No, sir. Conbore? Up to the Nambi, but I guess I can get to the next one. Abu Bakr sir. Ah, Abu Bakr. Or tell us, those or be here. Sayyid Ali, Ham, uh, Imran Shah, hai. Tayyab Bukhari. Hai. Sir, my question is. Ji, who are you? Sir, I am Farwa. Talk to me. Ji, tell me. Sir, what is this? We had a question wise kiya tha na, prep. Ji, yeah, this question is. जी तो सर अब एमसीयूज के लिए इसके साथ प्रेप हो जाएगी इसके जी बिल्कुल होगी अगर आप इसको थोड़ा पढ़ेंगे इसमें डिबेंचर कितना था बैंक का लोन कितना था प्रोडक्ट में कितने दिए थे ठीक है ना कंपनी का जी सर कितने शेयर्स हुए थे सर आपको पता होगा अगर क्वेश्चन आ जाता कि शेयर्स 
इस तरह से ये जब पढ़ेंगे गो थ्रू करेंगे इसके सारे नोट तो मेरा आप सबको पता होगा और इट इज वेरी इजी केस मैंने इसको बहुत इजीली बनाकर लिख रहे हैं अगर आप बुक में पढ़ती हैं तो काफी डिटेल है उसमें तो समय नहीं आएगी लेकिन आई थिंक यू होप यू गॉट माय आंसर ठीक है जी फिनिश करें या आप लोगों ने किसी और ने कोई क्वेश्चन करना है अफ्ताब आपने कोई क्वेश्चन करना है नहीं सर आपने बहुत अच्छा समझाया है क्वेश्चनिंग की जरूरत ही नहीं है ठीक है फेरी मलिक कौन है ये फेरी मलिक कौन है ये नाम ओरिजिनल लेके आया करें प्लीज ऐसे तो पता नहीं हो सकता कि कौन है ये ठीक है कमर फारूक साहब कौन है आईफोन है आईफोन में आप इसको सिर्फ आईफोन लिखा है किसी ने अपना नाम लिखे मोहसिन रजा कोई क्वेश्चन चलें ठीक है थैंक यू वेरी मच जी द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर आई गिव यू द नेक्स्ट टाइम सो आई होप यू गाइस आर अंडरस्टैंड माय लेक्चर हियर सो इट वाज वेरी वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन एंड इफ यू गो थ्रू दिस ऑल द केस इट विल बी इजीली वेरी इजीली यू कैन बी सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन इफ यू गॉट दिस केस इन योर एग्जाम थैंक यू वेरी मच सी यू लेक्चर बाय थैंक यू सर अल्लाह हाफिज थैंक यू सर थैंक यू अल्लाह हाफिज थैंक यू बाय अल्लाह हाफिज सर अल्लाह हाफिज